Alright guys, welcome back to the most amazing gaming channel in the world. Today we're going to be going over the patch notes, or patch uh, 4.2. Um, so this is new god, uh, looks like Bowser. <laughs> um, basically his passive when he takes 2% of his max health, he gets a stack of 1.5 damage reduction, can stack up to 10 times, but any, in a sense, CC whatsoever, yeah, or otherwise disrupted, the bull loses half of its stacks until he begins to fill it again. Uh, reduction lost when disrupted is 5%. So, not even really a passive. You're going to be your support. You're going to be initiating. You're going to get pulled. You're going to get stunned. You're going to get, you know, knocked up and things like that. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I guess we'll just have to see where this goes. But I think this, as of right now, I think this is really cool, this part. But you lose half your stacks when you're knocked up or any form of CC'd or otherwise disrupted like you're, you're, you're the support you're gonna get like rooted you're gonna get stunned you're gonna be getting you're gonna be taking things from people I don't know I don't know um guess you uh summon some kappa and you ricochet it off wall so you throw shells at people um travel seven units from that point up to two bounces so that'll be kind of cool you can throw it back and forth I will guess we'll see. I my guess for lane clearing, this should be uh, treated like how he's uh, like well, like how he how you ricochet it off the wall to hit both mins. Um, shell spikes. Uh, basically, this I think is really cool. Um, I think that's going to be really strong. Um, duration is three seconds. Um, so basically, spikes uh, on his shell extend out, reflecting a percent of the damage um, enemies deal to Kuzinbu back at them. So thorns, you, they literally took thorns and threw it on him. While active, each time Kuzinbo takes damage, the cooldown on this, Nene Kappa, God, I feel like they're they just trolling us right now. Um, the cooldown is now reduced um, each time you take damage. So the cooldown on this is 16 seconds. So you build max CDR. You're looking around 9 seconds. And every time you get hit, you'll then take 0.6 seconds off. While also having this go down to 12 seconds, being able to activate it, um, getting 40% damage put back on them. Um, so basically you will get thorns, like I was saying. Um, you take the 40% on that, and now you're looking at around 7 seconds, which means every 4 seconds you can have 40% damage uh Re reflected back the thing with this though is it says reflecting a percent of the damage enemies deals back to him just damage it doesn't say auto attacks it doesn't say anything like this this may actually be a huge counter to uh Giannis 40% of his health so you just wait for the unstable vortex and bait it out walk on in um use this reflected damage because it's not auto attacks that's 40 percent um you ref you reflect his uh like his banish to unstable vortex he's got he, he, like he's gonna get chunked like that's what's gonna happen right here um you take 40 percent of that which it does a ton of damage he's gonna like chunk himself out of the fight this i think is interesting but i think it might be a uh, slightly overpowered i haven't played with him yet pts is down um it's like every other smite server. Uh, Kuzinbu, sumo slam. Basically, you become immune to slows, roots, and you damage enemy minions and using his immense strength to push the first enemy god he hits along with him. Each subsequent god he hits deals damage to both that god and the god Kuzinbu is pushing. Colliding with the wall will also deal damage to the pushed god. Now, yes, if they're all in the line, this can be helpful. But it doesn't say it stuns them. If they like collide with the wall or anything like that, doesn't say anything about stunning. I'm trying to figure out where this dude's CC is. Um, if this slowed, awesome, but it doesn't. This is good. Again, there's no CC here. This is what guardians need. They need some sort of. That would be like taking, you know, Hades. Maybe not even that. Like, 
Like, Guan Yu has more CC than this. <laughs> like, at least he has a stun and a slow. I don't know. Um, watery Grave. So, he pull him for, or pulls himself under his shell and spins around, summoning fierce currents that knock enemies back, increase his movement speed, and allow him to move freely in all directions. Damage after the first spin is reduced by 50%, and it has a 100 second cooldown, because this is on par with global ultimates. Um, that's what hi is saying, because a global ultimate starts at 110 seconds. So this is the same as a global ultimate to high res. Uh, damage from the first hit um, is 220 plus 40 percent of your magic power so you might do about 300 damage um, now one thing it doesn't say is how often you your spin attacks happen is it every I mean with this like this is this is pitiful right here um, with this if it was like every one second I mean it doesn't really say how long you spin for um, or anything like that so, I mean, are you spinning for like 25 seconds? Is that why it's on such a long cooldown? Because then that would be pretty strong. This ult and run back to, I don't know. I really don't know what this is. Um, because it says they summon enemies back. Now, I didn't watch the patch notes. I was working. But with this is, it summons fierce currents to knock the enemies back. Is it just once or will it continuously knock back? And is it a knockback like Sobek's knockback? Where he spins around? Is that the animation that would occur? There's so many questions. Like It's like, I understand, hi res you have a bunch of shit going wrong. But you can't even do patch notes right. It doesn't say any damage how often. It doesn't say, you know, if they'll continue to get knocked back. Because if so, this is great. You flank someone in their back line. Which I know isn't what really a support's supposed to do. But you can go ahead and just start knocking them back. Like pick off one person and knock them back continuously like under tower or something like that. I don't know. I don't... They can't even do patch notes right, guys. Skins, what I don't give a shit about. Miscellaneous, Clash. Yeah, you can... I don't care about Clash either, neither should you. Um, adjusted the size of Demonic Pack to Anubis. I think that is good. This was nice because that was a pain. Always seeing booster. Um, now back to the, or down to the item changes. Eight point shuriken. This I can kind of get because it was kind of strong. Um, indifferent about this one. This one, I get why they did it because this is incredibly strong. But now the wind demon's getting like nerfed. Uh, fit poison star. They're gutting this. They almost dropped the power in half while increasing the cost of gold by about ten percent. Um, this is, if you don't know why this is, this is because everyone was starting with Wind Demon Poison Star. And what they're trying to do with this is most likely mitigate the cheap gold that you could do. Because for 4,800 gold, you could have a ton of power and attack speed because they added, added attack speed on this. Um, now, they did only increase it an extra 400, but that's a lot of gold to kind of change. It's going to change basically the way the game starts. Um... But Poison Star, they completely gutted this. Like it, they find people finally found a reason to use Poison Star, and then Hyra is like, "Nah, fuck you, I don't want to use that." Afro, um, sharing a lot more mana regen. So instead of actually fixing it, because oh, it would actually be a nerf. Let's just uh, go ahead and keep it there. So now it's uh, seventy percent of all mana, which is pretty crazy. Uh, Kyren, I think this is good as well because Kyren hasn't been played competitively nor in like casuals. I don't think I've seen Kyren played in like months. Like, it's been ridiculous. So, they increase the damage of his ult to actually allow you more kill potential. Up by, there's 30 per hit. So, if you hit all three, it's only going to do about 90. Um, but, I think this is a good change. Kyra now re receives a physical power buff while you are dashing. Um, up to 50 for the duration of his charge. So, I think that's really cool as well. Kronos, because, you know, he just, he's not as strong as we thought he would be. I don't know. Um, increases movement speed from 4 to 20% to 12 to 20, so you have more movement speed early game. Uh, increased his damage from his stop time uh, from 40 to 120. And then his wheel of time, which is his 2. Um, this one should be his 3, uh, if I remember right. Um, that stuns, so that's cool. Gave him a 10 on all of it. And wheel of time. 
and that would increase the magical power of section 3 buff from 20 to 25 and the basic attack power from 35 to 45 percent so chronos just got a huge buff because that makes sense i don't know um nike decrease this again i think when this uh, was released guys it was like 5 8 and 12 or maybe it was 4 8 12 4 8 12 now it's 2 4 6 maybe it was this one maybe this one was 4 8 12 i don't know anyways they're like nerfing nike again her passive reducing it to where it's almost negligible and Rend increased that from 12 to 14 because now that in case you weren't getting interrupted enough, now literally anyone will have their cooldowns up before you. So congratulations, Nike is still going to be quite useless. Scotty, um, hopefully fixed their uh, speed buff. Oh, permafrost movement speed now persists for 3 seconds after leaving the circle. Because we realized with the bug that she was actually pretty strong and we liked the way that she act or acted while having unlimited movement speed. Sylvanas decreased ma base magic power from 38 to 35 because with his uh, aura and his one, this was actually quite strong. Um, Sylvanas, like they were saying, amount of lane pressure, um, given his other utility, he was super strong. So we're gonna tone down the early game power of his auto attacks by three. Tier, uh, any nerf to tier is always a good one, so now, the only thing that they did was his power cleave no longer heals twice on the first target hit. So instead of healing for 500 damage every 5 seconds, you're now just going to heal for like 400. Don't want to sound pessimistic here, but I like this. This is in the right direction, but if you wanted to also put him in balance, nerf it to where like it caps. No, I don't want to say caps, but um, goes up to like 80. Um, I mean, let's quickly see here. Smitegame.com. Is your website down too, Smite? There we go. All right. Um, we'll go gods. Let's walk on over to tier. Tier. All right. So his power cleave healing does 105 plus like 65% of your physical power. So, or maybe this one doesn't, but I'm pretty sure it does. So what I would do is instead of having this cap at 85 have it cap at 80 you're still going to be healing for 250 roughly and that's before any of your physical power is converted over so let's do that like nerf that that would be the great nerf maybe even increase the cooldown on this from 14 scaling down to 10 compared to 12 scaling down to 8 um, the reason why is just because it's on an 8 second cooldown. Like I said, with 40% per cooldown, you're looking at 5 seconds. You can heal yourself for what used to be 500 health every 5 seconds. Tell me how that makes fucking sense. But no, don't worry. That's uh, on, on par with Ravana's healing. Fucking Ajax. Xing Chin, um, basically they're keeping an eye on him because now is a good time to nerf him again because they haven't learned from the last times they've nerfed Xing and how they ended up having to buff him because he wasn't played. They fixed an issue where rank 5 of Furious War, Roar was actually doing 4% of the target's health instead of 3. Also fixed an issue with the Sky Cutting Axe where it was dealing 80 damage instead of the 85. So I guess fixing a bunch of tooltip stuff. Um, apparently you could also provide more protections than intended and then his ult fix an issue where rank three of this ability would grab targets longer than intended so they're fixing a bunch of shit that was messed up on Shing. so this is overall good so good this is good but keep nerfing him like i said we either increase the cooldown decrease the heals to cap at 80 or decrease the at cap at 85 um this would actually be good, but I'd like more done to him because he's still fucking strong and powerful. This is, I guess, good. Permafrost, hopefully they fix the speed bug. Nike keeps getting gutted. Kronos, eh, indifferent. I don't play Kronos ADC, so can't quite say, but I'd have to say that, like, overall he got a pretty big buff. Like, I mean, be arrogant or stupid, one of them, to say this isn't a huge buff to Kronos. 
Uh, Chiron, this is a really good. Uh, hopefully he'll actually be played now. And Afro just seems to be like a tooltip with the item changes, this being the absolute worst thing they could have done to Poison Star. Wind Demon, I at least understand, because it was the best item in the game for ADCs. So, um, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, have yourself a fucking amazing life.